Oilers hosting the Golden Knights game number six of round number two. And the Knights are plus 160 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 190. The over under six and a half goals. The Knights getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 155. Meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 130. Meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Now head to head, the home team is five and five. The Oilers are six and four against the Knights in their last 10 the underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. The over is 5-4-1, and one, and the over 6.5 goals is 6-4. and four. These teams have alternated wins every game for this postseason. The first game that they played, the Knights won 6-4. Then the Oilers won 5-1. Then the Knights won 5-1. Then the Oilers won 4-1. Then the Knights won 4-3. So if the math is mathing and the numbers continue, this would mean that the Oilers would probably win this game and the Oilers would win by two. Now the road team does play well in these series and I really want to see the Knights eliminate the Oilers and then we kind of eradicate the Canadian teams from the playoffs and then it's just the cup stays in the United States for one more year. And that's kind of what I'm banking on. So I'm going to take the Knights with the money line. I'm going to take the Knights getting the goals. I'm going to go over, but... If you're going to follow the patterns of how this playoffs have been happening, the pattern would suggest going the other way from what I just said. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.